Stop talking about how you care about people. Show me something. Show me a policy. Show me a policy where you take responsibility. And by the way, they talk about this great recession if it fell out of the sky. Like, oh my goodness, where did it come from? It came from this man voting to put two wars in the credit card to at the same time put a prescription drug benefit in the credit card. When Barack Obama was elected, his party controlled everything. They had the ability to do everything of their choosing. And look at where we are right now. They passed the stimulus. The idea that we could borrow $831 billion, spend it on all these special interest groups, and that it would work out just fine. That unemployment would never get to 8%. It went up above 8% for 43 months. They said that right now, if we just pass the stimulus, the economy would grow at 4%. It's going at one point three. When could you get it below six percent? That's what our entire premise of our pro growth plan for a stronger middle class is all about. Getting the economy growing at four percent, creating twelve million jobs over the next four years. Look at just the nine million dollars in stimulus. The vice president was in charge of overseeing this. And I love my friend here. I, uh, I'm not allowed to show letters, but go on our website. He sent me two letters saying, by the way. Can you send me some stimulus money for companies here in the state of Wisconsin? We sent millions of dollars. You know what? They sent us for stimulus. stimulus. Sure, right? By the way, we, we, we advocated for constituents who are applying for grants. <laughs> That's what we do. We do that for all constituents. Oh, I love that. I love that. This is such a bad program. And he writes me a letter saying, writes the Department of Energy a letter saying, the reason we need this stimulus, it will create growth and jobs.